Madam Webb saw a decidedly lackluster box office result, which has some surprisingly positive implications for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Madam Webb released on February 14, 2024, and went on to earn less than $100 million worldwide due to its unpopular reception, making it one of the most unpopular live-action Spider-Man movies of all time. The Dakota Johnson-led superhero flick was the fourth film released in Sony's Spider-Man Universe SSU, that doesn't feature a Spider-Man, and has seen diminishing returns with each subsequent release. Sony's Spider-Man universe has had its fair share of ups and downs, as the Venom movies fared considerably better than Morbius and Madam Web. As a result, it will be interesting to see how the upcoming Kraven the Hunter and Venom, The Last Dance perform, as the mixed receptions the franchise has received make both releases all the more important. Despite the mixed bag of Sony releases, though, it's easy to rank Madam Web at the bottom of Sony's universe, though the negative response to the film has provided some helpful context for Marvel's other installments. Madam Web's box office is $100 million below even the lowest grossing MCU movie. Madam Web's financial failure makes the MCU's box office woes look less startling. Its box office was just shy of $98 million, putting it far below even the worst performing Marvel Cinematic Universe films. The MCU's lowest-grossing film is currently The Marvels, with a box office haul of almost $200 million. Before that was The Incredible Hulk from 2008, the second film in the MCU, which earned $265 million. These are the only two films in the MCU to fall below $300 million, with the third lowest-grossing movie being Captain America, the first Avenger earning $370 million in 2011. The $200 million haul for the Marvels is historically low for the MCU. Only two films in the entire franchise have failed to break $300 million. If Madam Web's box office run proves anything, it is that things for the MCU could be worse. Making $100 million less than even the worst performing movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe shows there is still more interest in the MCU than in other superhero universes, even at its lowest. It also highlights how the MCU's budgets can be seen to create complications for the box offices of its releases. The typical rule of thumb for a movie to break even is 2.5x its budget. This covers production costs, marketing, and theater split. Keeping budgets under control is key. The Marvel's budget was $275 million. If the MCU's box office flops had a similar $80 million budget to Madam Web, none of them would have actually been considered a flop, with the Marvels essentially breaking even. While the diminishing returns of the MCU have been troubling for the studio, addressing budgets could help alleviate some of the damage done by less-than-ideal box office returns. When it is all said and done, Madam Web will just be a footnote in the larger tapestry of superhero films, but its poor critical performance and extremely muted audience reception does highlight some pitfalls of the superhero genre. When the hype for a cinematic universe isn't the main factor anymore, there has to be some other draw, as it shows audiences aren't necessarily willing to watch any random character on screen anymore if it doesn't feed into the overall story. Studios need to be more diligent than ever with superhero films not being the surefire hit they seemed to be just a few years ago, and while there are a range of ways to approach this matter, the key appears to be focusing in on them. Madam Web had poor reviews and no draw in terms of comic book prestige or a strong cinematic universe to help elevate it at the box office. This exemplifies how the box office landscape has changed, underlining that audiences won't show up for the new superhero movie just because it's a new superhero movie. The Marvel Cinematic Universe isn't infallible. The Incredible Hulk in 2008 and a recent string of box office misfires capping off with the Marvels proved that. On the other hand, Madam Web showed things aren't as bad as they could be. However, it also provides a cautionary tale, as with the genre's box office performance seeing some diminishing returns in the past few years, the MCU's bloated budgets, heavier focus on relatively unknown characters, and fewer in-universe connections may all be especially worth addressing with Sony's own movie context in mind.